everyone and um, today I'm going to be doing a canvas I've had this idea come pop into my head I'm hoping it works if not it'll be just a bit of a play and I'm using predominantly indigo blue products I love indigo blue products I've got a lot of them and I've been wanting to do something with this stamp set which is plume designed by Limor Weber for indigo blue and um, there's just something about it, it just kind of I love feathers and splats and inky so we're going to have a really good play and um, I've actually got I've already stamped and embossed um, the ink pot and the pen and a couple of feathers and I've got this feather stencil from uh, Indigo Blue which I'm going to use, I want a couple of those I'm going to put a couple of those on and I've got this splat here but first I need my um, first I'm going to give it a coating as always with so good from um, Indigo Blue uh, this is a, a white gesso and all I'm going to do is just pop some on my mat on my canvas and then using the baby wipe you know how I do it cut it in half and then just Work this in. Some, um, the majority of canvases do have um, a gesso coating, but I just like to uh, give it a another one. But that's just me. It's entirely up to you. So there we go. So that's that done. And um, what I'm going to do is just give it a quick blast with the heat gun. And then I'm going to come in with my um, super thick slap it on again from um, Indigo Blue. And uh, so I'm going to do that. But first, I want to give this a quick blast. So, next, I'm going to mask off. The feathers that I want and I want this nice large feather so I just want to mask off this one here so it, I don't contaminate it and I'll just put that there so that's that and then I want this splat so I'm going to cover the butterfly because I don't want that I'm going to mask off the barbed wire I'm not particularly bothered if some of the bubbles come in you know some of these so I'm just going to pop that there kind of at an angle so if I do get some on it doesn't really matter so um, right let's make a start if I can get into this there we go I'm not going to do a whole feather, I'm kind of going to introduce it maybe to the sides. Just I just want two of these.
I want to do a couple more in the middle so I'm just going to wait and uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to give it a blast with the heat gun okay so I'm just going to do one more splat here and then we're done and then I'm just going to pop this to one side and let it dry naturally and while that's drying I'm, I'm going to be painting the feather and the ink pot with the luscious powders so pop that to one side wash in a minute <laughs> okay so luscious powders really fine powder and um, I'll just pop that over there so we're going to paint these with my luscious and um, I'm going to paint this one bronze I've already got bronze here and I've kept this palette and uh, I can reactivate it so all I need to do is just turn your nozzle on Linda oh, turned it off now why won't it work? oh my nozzle's not working don't know what the heck I've done well done Now it's working now. Take no notice of me. I just wet my brush. I'm just going to activate this up. See how quickly it reactivates? And I'm just going to come in and paint this. And because I've embossed um, the embossing, will resist the water so it's easy for me to uh, go in and paint it I don't like this paintbrush either it's left a hair on me I don't like that paintbrush at all so I'm just going to reactivate the purple To do the lid with the purple. Down the side. If I wanted this darker, I could add add more powder to it. But I'm quite happy with how that looks. I'll just pop it up. There you can see. Need a, a different brush. I've got some really nice brushes somewhere and I can't find them. Typical, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I found it. I found my brush. This is my favourite brush. I like this brush. You know how you have a particular favourite, don't you? So, I'm going to do the feathers. I'm going to use um, the teal. Big one, but I want to see how it. I just want that a bit darker, so I just get a little bit on the end of my brush. Teal is one of my favourite colours, especially with brown. There we go, that's better. And all I'm doing, I'm just going to, where all the space, the, the uh, white space is, I'm just going to... Uh
all the feathers are now painted and so I'll put them to one side now back on them right I've got four colours I've chosen four colours I've got marshmallow Wimbury pie townhouse teal and grandma's teacup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in and um, I've got a big paintbrush and I'm just going to take a bit out of each and I want it like that I'm just going to give it a, a colour wash with all the different colours so I'm going to change my mind I'm going to get some uh, makeup sponge I think yeah. I've got some makeup sponges here I'm going to just grab a bit on using makeup sponge got four colours so I've got all of them there we go and I'm just going to don't need to dry that first right that's dry now and I'm just going to introduce some colour canvas So that's that done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another palette. I've got another palette here and I'm just going to add some water. I'm going to add some colour first and uh, to, to each of the, using each of the colours. I'm just going to add a little bit to each of the each Just going to give this a quick blast. Now I've not tried this before, so I'm hoping it works. So I'm just going to add some water to each of them. I'm 
mix it up. I want it quite watery. Yeah, this is no good. That's better. I'm going to pick up some colour in my pipette and then I'm just going to dribble Thing. Just dribble it down. I'm going to do that with each of the colours. That's the effect I was looking for. I'll just pop that there and clean up my mess. I will create some background using the um, the colours that are in the thingy. I won't waste them. Let's bring this in now. Just what I wanted. That's the look I was after. Right, okay, let's get this dried and then I can move on to the next step. So that, that's all dry, oh, I'm just going to bring in my uh, stamping tablet uh, because I want to stamp the words. I'm going to take this mat out because I don't need it. place this down and I've got the word I'm going to use the words create freedom and art and art can go there so. and I'm going to use black onyx or onyx black from this fine By using this I can I know that I'm gonna get a really good if it doesn't work first time it'll work maybe second or third time. Not too bad is it? It's not come out too bad. So I'll try it stamp it one more time and I think that should be enough. I do like this fine. There we go. I'll clean them up after when I do my cleaning. Take that out. Whoa. Right, okay, so now what I'm going to do is, before I do anything else and put anything else down, 
I'm going to kind of um, use the pheasant bronze and I'm using the pheasant bronze because I've got bronze on the on the pot which is going to go there and I just want to highlight it so I'm just going to use my fingers and just rub so that the um, the what I've done pops you know the stenciling pops should have dried it hey ho never mind it's all part of art green so what I'll do is before I move on to the others I will dry it I'll just continue doing this and I'll uh... And I'm just going to add add my um, I want that to go there like that. And then we'll have a couple of these going down here like that. So I'm going to uh, I think I'll use some, um, let's see, let's use some silicone glue I think, so they're not completely flat. Get the little stub out, there we go. I'm just going to tuck the feather inside, so as if, as if it's inside the um, the ink pot. The last thing to do is to add some splats and I'm going for this I'm going to be using Aladdin which is a deep purple and I'm just going to get some on um, on my glass mat take some from the lid I think that should be enough spray with water fan brush And that 
is my canvas completed? Um, really, really pleased with how it turned out. Um, I just, I don't know what it is. I just love um, feathers and birds and and this particular stamp set spoke to me with the words freedom, art, create and the other word is breathe which I didn't use but just go for it, just enjoy creating I mean at the end of the day it's only a piece of paper if, or canvas if it doesn't work you can always paint over it and start again but I'm really pleased how that's turned out it's more or less, more or less not exactly the same but more or less what I envisaged when I set out and um, all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching I do hope you've enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up like and please share with your friends and help me get to my 4,000 hours until next time bye bye